Hi there everyone and welcome to the UXF channel. Today I have another unboxing video for you. So as always, because there are some people that hate unboxing videos, I want to make sure that this is very clear that this is an unboxing video so that you can go watch perhaps another video on this channel. But for those of you that are interested in watching, you'll get a chance to see what's coming up on the channel and sometimes what some of my plans are. So recently I saw a IRC ukulele selling for about $22 on eBay with free shipping. And if you bought them in a quantity, they were even cheaper. So I bought four of them with the idea of reviewing a couple, making sure that they're actually all very consistent. Like that's been one of my questions about the IRC products. And then potentially having some on hand to sell or give away locally. So let's do an unboxing of four IRC ukuleles. Opening up my Swiss Army knife. And uh, Daniel Hulbert at Circuits and Strings asked which model this is. I have no idea. It's missing the tweezers and it's missing the uh, toothpick that normally come with it. It's something that I've had since scouting, but it's not a scout specific knife. Came in a really uh, rather poorly wrapped box, but um, that's okay. Because each one of these is going to be in a box of its own. So. Let me show you the ukuleles. They should all be the same. They are taped shut. So they are pretty well protected. Interestingly, they come in a square box. You don't normally see that. All right, let's see what we're looking at. So inside, you have the ARC ukulele. You have a capo and you have a tuner that is often included with some of the other companies. Very light gig bag, although it is a step up from a couple of them that I've seen. It's not very padded. It's basically not padded at all. So, we'll open it up. And all these, I will hold on to all the packaging. Because especially if somebody else is going to buy them, they can have the entire experience of opening an ukulele. And... Here is the headstock. You get the sign that you have Aquila Super Nalgut strings. Continuing on. It's a standard plain ukulele. Yeah, sounds nice and resonant. A little bit of sharp front ends. That's something that I can deal with. And let's tune it up. Here we go. Gotta go higher than that. It's actually not doing too bad with holding in tune right away. It does have side position markers, so that's really nice. It has the 15 frets, so it's not just a 12 fret fretboard. Yeah, not bad. I mean, seriously, for, I think with tax, about $21 a piece. That's pretty amazing. All right, so let's go take a look at the others. I won't take you through an unboxing of each of those. I'll tune them all up, and I'll show you each one and let you see what the consistency looks like. All right, here's the second one. Looks exactly the same as the first one. Again, you're dealing with uh, side position markers, 15 frets, open geared tuners. Here's this one. All right, how about on to number three? Here's number three, a little bit with sharp fret ends. So that's 
number three. And here's number four. Again, looks just the same as you'd expect. Yeah, again, nice little beginner instruments. This one has a little bit of something on the headstock here, just a little bit of roughness. It's not terrible. Um, again, fret ends are going to have to be dealt with, but that's easy to take care of. And you have a nice little soprano ukulele. So you might be wondering, when you buy four of these ukuleles, what's the action like? You just heard the sound. Well, I measured all them using my... Uh, string action ruler and all four action at the first fret was 0.5 millimeters or less I mean it's either at 0.5 or just under and then the action of the 12th was between 2.25 millimeters and 2.5 millimeters so every one of them is well set up they do have some sharp fret ends from storage and shipping and all that and being in a drier climate than where they are produced and so forth but they're all decent little instruments, and it's amazing what you can buy from IRC. Is this the ukulele that's going to be the ukulele of your dreams? Probably not. But is it an ukulele that can get you started right and give you a fun playing experience? Sure. Now, on the other hand, is it an instrument that you can use later on in your playing? And the answer is absolutely. Because you can use this, for example, down the road when you have other ukuleles as something you drag around, or when you want to bring something that isn't really that expensive or you're afraid that something might happen to it, this is a great solution. And then, if you throw on different strings on these, I think they even sound better. All right, so there you go. Four IRC ukuleles. They're plain 21-inch soprano model, and they're great. They're great. Now, I will do a full review of one of them. I don't have to do of all four, but watch for that in the coming weeks as a full uke guide review. And the pineapple version of this same instrument uh, was one of my recipients of a five ukulele review just for its bargain for the money. I mean, it's an amazing little ukulele for hardly anything at all. So thanks so much for watching the video. I hope you're having a great day, and I will be back soon with some more uke stuff for you.